Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to the We All Juggle Knives channel, and welcome to my video on this fine implement. The results of some wood carving that I have done. I made this. I call it a. I call it Little Stabby, which sounds like a sounds like a rapper's name, doesn't it? But I don't know what else to call it. It's a wooden knife, or you could call it a shank. I make these from little pieces of scrap wood, like you see there. That's my version of recycling. All right, speaking of shanks, uh, I have a disclaimer. All wooden objects shown are made for educational and artistic purposes only. I got to say that because they're going all family friendly. So if you make something scary, you have to say it's just an artistic object, which it is because it does take a lot of skill. Well, maybe not a lot, but... You know, it, it takes some effort to create something like this from a piece of scrap. As you see, I wrap the handle with some paracord. I do this as a hobby, of course. Wood carving can be very fun and relaxing, and I have, you know, an endless supply of scrap wood from doing knife reviews and so forth. So it's just a cool little item. If you're wondering what uh, wood carving, what it actually looks like, it looks like that, you know, you just remove material from the piece of wood until it looks like you want it to look like. Now I'm just using a Stanley utility knife there, but in other videos I've used all sorts of knives. I've shown carving with Swiss Army knives, with a Mora carving knife. You know, the, the thinner the blade, generally the less chance of gouging out uh, overly large chunks of wood that, you know, over carving. Right now, if you're going to carve a wooden knife, a utility like a utility knife like this is fine. You know, you can use almost any knife, but if you're carving really complicated, intricate things like little statues and faces and things, you're going to want a more precise blade, right? A more narrow blade. As you see, I wrapped the handle with paracord and burned the ends. All right, coming up, some resources for you for people who want to get into this hobby. How to get started in wood carving and whittling. Well, I've put together a list of items that you will find quite useful. Uh, we got some books on whittling. There's a book on how to make nice paracord wraps. Uh, some paracord in bulk. I got the Walking Dead lighter to burn the paracord. A Mora carving knife. Some other knives that I use to baton the wood down to the thickness that I want. We've got some whittling multi-tools. There's a boker uh, multi-bladed whittler. There's the cheaper Schrade version of the whittling knives. Swiss Army knives with useful saws to make the stop cuts. A uh, budget Kubi knife with a good saw. That Mora knife I reviewed. So in the text description box, I will include a huge list of all sorts of resources like this that you will find useful if you want to get into the hobby, right? Including some hatchets to carve out shapes too. Now that wrap is not going to slide off because underneath there, I actually made some stop cuts and then carved out a little indentation so it fits in there. And as you can see, both the handle and the uh, blade, quote unquote, have a curve to them. The original piece of wood was curved like that, so it was easier for me to carve it that way and it kind of reminds me of some Japanese knives that I have seen. Now, a lot of people use wooden knives as a training knife, right? You, you're training knife defense. You don't want to accidentally stab it through your partner. And because it's wood, you can round off that tip as much as you want for safety purposes. Now, like I said, I make it as an artistic object. So I did make it pointed simply because it looks better. It looks more like what it's uh, supposed to be a copy of. Now, as far as the weapon use, you know, like in prisons and jails, they'll actually use something like this. Of course, it won't be won't be so nice looking. You know, it won't be artistic, but a pointy. Usually they use a piece of plastic rather than wood, but I've seen wooden ones when they can find some pieces of wood. And it's more deadly than you might think, actually, because this is so small that most people that got hit with something like this, they never knew there was a weapon present. You know, it's a... They, they use them by surprise, obviously, against soft, vital areas such as the neck. You know, luckily, 
we're all free. We don't really have to worry about that, so it's an art object to me, right? But don't don't underestimate small pointy things of whatever material. Okay, I hope you enjoyed seeing my creation, aka Little Stabby. Check out the links. They do help support the channel. This has been We All Juggle Knives. I'm out.